Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Push It, and I guess this is a puzzle game with a very similar mechanic to other puzzle games that I've played on this site before, so I'm very excited because I'm pretty good at these types of puzzles. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean here in a second, so let's go ahead, let's get started, and it looks like there's a heck of a lot of levels, 50 levels in this game, so plenty to keep yourself occupied with. You can never really challenge yourself enough with these types of games. So level one, let's see how it goes. So here we have it. So much like another game that I played here on lag, when you have one of these little dispensers, they have this like little spout here on the end, and that's the direction that they're going to shoot in. The number on them indicates how many balls are going to shoot out. And in this one, it's not a puzzle so much as it's a tutorial to show you exactly how it works. So when I click this, three balls wow that was actually really quick go boop 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 into th one of the three slots and then once all the slots are filled then you've completed the puzzle so this is going to get very complicated as we continue but again we have another one still pretty easy here so we go one two three those three balls extend that far and we can't get to this last one but we can with this separate shooter this shooter will go boom boom and then there you have it so level two done now this one it looks like already is going to be a little bit more complicated so if we shoot with the two shooter first unfortunately it's only going to shoot two balls out and then we can fill another one with this one shooter here that shoots to the left and fills this space but then this last space will not be able to be reached so just like the other game i'm assuming that there's like a leapfrog mechanic where if a spot is filled then the ball goes to the next available open spot so if i put a one here and a one here we can do this and those balls jump out and they skipped spaces so that they filled in all four spaces so there you have it so that's the mechanic here very similar to what i've played before and that makes me very happy because i really enjoyed that other game that i played with this mechanic so this one is where my hint in the other game comes into play this is my number one hint for anyone who struggles with this type of puzzle but if you have a shooter that can only fill the amount of spaces that are currently available in its row so for instance this one has four balls available and there's only four slots available always do those first because when you do those that way you won't ever have another ball taking up one of your slots in that row or column that will cause you to leapfrog out of the arena and lose the game because if we were to shoot the three first and block one of those spaces and then shoot the four we wouldn't have enough spaces left to fill with the four so now that we've done that now the three becomes the next priority because there's only three slots can possibly fill so we're gonna go ahead and shoot the three balls into that that makes this two be the next one to go because there's only two that were available and then there's two available for this one to leapfrog into safely and allow us to beat that level so there is my quick little hint now i'm gonna go ultra mega speed here guys just to show you how much i'm into these so one first because it fills the one that it can two next because there's only two slots available three next and then one next so that's nice and easy for you all right so this one i feel like is going to be a leapfrog situation where we're going to fill up every single slot so that this last ball has to leapfrog over all of those into the last one in the column so there's level six for you so this again these twos can only fill up these two spaces there's no other move they could possibly make which means that the ones are the last moves we make and very easy moves at that that. so here we go with threes on both sides i think oh wait no i messed up already oh no i was too quick here so i'm gonna go ahead and restart oh it brings you back to the home screen but that's fine you just jump right back in this three has to go first because there's only three but this one goes next because there's only one it can possibly fill this will leapfrog and then this will leapfrog as well and we'll finish the level easily so there you have it so two is gonna or one is gonna go before any of the twos but then this two goes and then this two goes this two goes next and then one so again using the leapfrog mechanic using the number of balls equaling exactly how many uh, slots they have to fill this is uh, going to allow us to beat these very easily these puzzles are going to stand no chance for me that was already level 10 we're already a fifth of the way through the game and that makes me feel pretty good honestly so here a little bit more complicated because it's not that these uh, can fill like X number of spaces. It's that they have to fill this whole column 
but each of these shooters at the top and bottom have three balls, so the only places they can go are these lines of uh, slots here. If we fill any of these with a one, then unfortunately these threes are gonna be blocked off. There's gonna, like, if we put one one ball in here, then there's only gonna be five spaces available for three and three, which is six. That's too many balls. So we wanna go these first, and then these are gonna be able to leapfrog back and forth, fill in the whole stage. So there you have it again, guys. This is, again, my theory, my way of always making sure that you win. So that was a nice and easy one. I enjoyed that one. This one, two, can only do two that way. So of course, we're gonna do that one first. And then for this next one, it's a little bit more complicated because again, you might be put off by the way that the board looks, but this one, has to go here and this one has to go here otherwise all their spaces are filled up in their available slots so there we go that that makes the two the next move and the four the last move there to fill in the rest of the puzzle good stuff good easy puzzles so far not too much of a challenge for someone who's done this for a while like me just filling in what needs to be filled in due to process of elimination. That's the easiest way I can explain it is it's always process of elimination. So four goes first, three goes next. It's almost like logic based, even though there's some math involved, very simplistic math, mainly logic in these puzzles. As long as you got a good noggin on you, you should be able to figure it out. And you guys are always so smart with these puzzle games. You are so good at them. And it's very easy to use these puzzle games to just mellow out when things are a little bit stressful, if you're a little bit tired and just want to wind down for the night, etc. So easy to use these games to just chill a little bit, not worry about the world, and also a really easy way to farm XP here on lag. You can get that easy XP through these easy achievements by just playing games like this that are mellow, laid back, don't have a time limit or anything like that to worry about. Just easy stuff. Just very, very easy stuff. And then there you have it. Level 18 done. Very easy. Okay, two, two, one, two, and then that two's last. So we're already on a level 20, guys. Wow, we are flying through this one. Five's got to fill the five slots. And that means that these two have to go there. Uh, and actually, wait, wait a second. This is a little bit complicated. What just happened here? What just happened? This is a two, allegedly, but it only goes that far. So does that mean that the one, one, two... Oh, okay, so that didn't shoot, this two didn't use one of its balls. It just used only one to plug the hole, but it still has one in the chamber technically, but as long as all the slots get filled, that's what matters. So in this one, it doesn't keep shooting and accidentally shoot off the board, which causes a game over. In this one, some of the shooters can hold additional balls, which is fine because you can still do that and beat the level. Okay, that's a different dynamic. That's a different level than the mechanic I'm used to. That's actually gonna make things a little bit more challenging for me, but I like that. I love a good challenge in games like this. This is gonna make me actually very happy. I'm gonna be very excited to play this, that means. So there we go with that. And it doesn't look like every stage is gonna have that mechanic in it. I think that was just a nice, easy way to introduce it to the player, but uh, still, Something cool to look forward to here. I'm really liking this so far. This is the best iteration of this game so far. I like it. We're just flying through here, guys. This is like nothing. This is easy street at this point. This is some good stuff. Boom, moving through. And if you need to like rewind the video or pause it to see where my moves are, you can always use that as a walkthrough to get through a lot of this stuff. And then also obviously Dom normally uploads a lot of walkthroughs on this site. So if you wanna watch any of Dom's walkthroughs, you can do so and it will allow you to beat the game also and get that easy XP, get those achievements, etc. It always feels really nice to be able to do that, get those little achievements there. So now I'm on the level 27 already, already halfway through the game. Nice and easy, nice and simple, good stuff, boom, just like that, just having to, again, do process of elimination, oops, didn't do it right, gotta go back to the home screen, I guess, jump back in, back into level 28, this one is the one we want to do first, then this one, and then this one, this one, this one. Easy stuff. All right, we're gonna get to at least level 30 in this video, guys. Level 30 sounds like a good goal to get to, although we might be able to blaze past it because we are already on it now. Holy cow, just flying through this game. 
but it's good. It's good stuff. So this one, a little bit more complicated because there wasn't like a certain number that matched exactly with the number of slots in this row, but just by order of elimination, again, process of elimination, I was able to figure that one out pretty easily there. And in this one, hmm, what are we gonna do with this one? So this one I think needs to be boop, boop, boop. And now this is making this a little bit harder for me. Wow, the game was like, yo, I heard that you were talking smack. I heard that you thought I was easy. Womp womp. Guess I'm gonna lose this level because I can't shoot anymore. Darn. Okay, so get back into it. Jump into level 31. So we just beat level 30 and that one was a good one. But level 31 is where the difficulty might ramp up a little bit here for me. And that's actually fine. That's absolutely fine. So we can't do the four first because if we do the four, no other ball is faced in the direction that will fill this fifth slot. So that means that at least one of these has to block at least one of the pegs or one of the slots in row four here. So if I do this, technically that should be fine. Just like that, because that fills enough right there. But the issue that we had last time is that uh, then this row is the problem. I think I figured it out though in my head already. I think what we gotta do here is we have to do the two first. That makes this have a leapfrog path down there, which allows me to go, oh, by process of elimination, I probably want to make sure that uh, we put a ball uh, here, we put a ball here, we put a ball here, and then this last one can leapfrog into the last space. So there you have it, guys. That's the answer up to level 32. Didn't finish the last few here so that you guys still have a challenge to work with because obviously this game gets a little bit more challenging as you continue to play. But again, a nice laid back game with no time limit, easy puzzles that are like really nice to be able to just like work through. Obviously, there's still challenge there. It's very easy to learn, hard to master type of game. One of my favorite types on this site but anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please 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 check this game out over here on lag.com and as always it was great seeing you bye bye